beautiful evening after a long rain last yesterday I was gonna take a video but it rained all day yesterday so finally got some spare time after work today to come out in the garden starting in the back of the garden today See the Ask Sunset, the pink one there. Real interesting, come up behind it this direction. See it from a few angles. This is an interesting conifer. No idea what it is. Got it from a friend of mine. Neojima looks good. Plants parviflora. Oh, got sun, ooh, get back that direction. Got the Ukigumo there. Shadava Gold on the left here. Uki's looking good. There's another Ask Sunset, Eskimo Sunset. Depends on what you want to call it. So the Ukigumo can be in the sun, but honestly it looks best if you can give it mostly shade. Really keeps the white a lot far longer. Get a cool view here of Eve multicolor on the left, Ukigumo on the right. Another Ukigumo back again, same one. Can you see here the sea lions in the background? Sound pretty cool. Always something in the background noise. Here's a funny story. Here on the right is this is geisha, and on the left, this is geisha gone wild. Also, Shiraz. So, Shiraz is supposedly a seedling. But if you look on a geisha, you actually find a geisha gone wild. Oh, maybe something's wrong. So now you have two trees that are pretty much the same with two different names. Beach tree I love. Can't figure out any place to put it where it doesn't burn. This is a pretty little hemlock. But we'll pick up the blue color of today, but really nice. Back over here is sold section. Trees getting ready to leave. There is a big Shiraz. Yeah, that one's actually a Shiraz. That one was comes in with a patented tag. And I'm a toy. Dragon fire. Two of them. One that's been in the sun. One that's been in the shade. It is Red Dragon. This is one of my favorite furs. Actually, there's two of them right here. So this is Golden Spreader. And then this cool one is called Flaky. It's got like orange 
flaky bark. It's got really cool dark purple cones, but this tree doesn't have it this year. One of my other ones does. That's English Town. Why was I going to say English Candy? Hmm. That's next new variety, English Candy. Mikawa Yatsubutsa. Here's a Fukuzuma. Fukuzumi. My printed on icebreaker. One of those hemlocks. Those hemlocks. This uh, Kaji Nishiki is getting a new home. As is the Miyajima. Peeve multicolor, hopefully. Pink shows up. There's an interesting seedling that is in the bottom of the pot. Kept that one for a while. And here's the super duper sized. Oh, shoot. I can't even think of the name. Red filigree lace. Yes. Everyone has one like six or seven feet wide. Oh, I forgot these cones. Can I get them? These are cool black purple cones. And move them. Kawiatsubutsa. There's that S sunset. Another Miyajima. The Suryu looks good back here in the dark. Come to realize Suryu is a nice tree in the shade. It's also nice out in front, but. It's brocade. Autumn moon. Autumn moons at my other house are just amazing this year. There's carnival. So carnival is a maple campestria or something like that. So I've owned it. I will not own it again. Uh, the success of it has not been real good for me. Um, they just defoliate. They don't do well at some point in time. The first year or two, they might be okay, but next thing you know, they're like... <laughs> Another Gage Gun Wild. It's a triplet. Three trees in one pot. Here's a beautiful fairy lights. Here's a bald smith that needs to go in the ground, getting a little, a little zapped being in the pot, either that or need to feed it. This Matthew is just best year I've ever seen for the Matthew. It's like a white yellow. Get over here and get the Irish lace. Never really seen another one of those before. Back to the Matthew. Get out of the sun. Uh, there we go. U Bay. It's going to probably get flooded out. Yep, it does. So now we've got Emerald Lace. This is a big one. Doesn't even fit in the camera. And there we go. Emerald Lace. Uh, gives a little walk in the back part of my yard. Well, have a good night or a good day.